What is up, crazy fam? Guys, listen up. After watching today's video, you're going to have the best build possible if you are a solo player. The goal of this build, the goal of this video, should I say, is to make it much easier for you to get wins in the finals as a solo player. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Because I've heard from a lot of you, man, the solo experience is so hard. I can't get wins and everything like that. And that's why I put all of this together. So let's not waste time and hop right right into it so let's talk about the full loadout the first thing you want to focus on and this is the most important thing guys is the specialization you want to get the recon census you're not going to have those crazy call outs from your teammates right which make the biggest difference in this game everything happens so fast and if you don't have the information of your surroundings it just makes it so much harder to win games or even get kills however if you do use recon census you have all the information in the world because literally you're gonna be able to have wall hacks in the game just as simple as that you're gonna know pretty much the exact position of every enemy as a solo player once again without any of the call outs from your teammates which is a huge dub next thing on the list is gonna be the weapon now in my opinion the best weapon on the medium class is the akm the recoil isn't like super easy to control but it's much easier than for example the f car right it just is and especially if you're playing on console you're gonna feel that kick in recoil at the beginning of every shot to be honest with both weapons but more so with the f car so i would 100 percent go with the akm the other weapons are pretty decent for example the revolver does tons of damage but it just needs so much precision and especially on console if you get into a close range fight you might find yourself in trouble then you have the shotgun which is a great pick but once again if you're just starting off and you're trying to get those solo wins i would go for the akm next on the list guys is the gas grenade the ease of use and the ability to control a huge area for example if you're playing cash out you have almost done everything you need to win the round and the enemy's pushing in just throwing in the gas grenade will win you those extra few seconds next on the list is gonna be the the jump pad now we're gonna have two options here for these gadgets we can go for the zip line the zip line is a little bit clunkier so in situations for example let me showcase here some situations it can be clunky like if you want to place it up top you see how it just doesn't go on top just like that when you need to so if you're in a rush you might get stuck like this then when you do this you might not be able you might not be able to jump on the roof so it is a little bit clunky so if you're not used to it i wouldn't go for it right away that's why i think that if you're just starting off you're trying to get those solo wins the jump pad is simply a better pick once again pretty simple you just drop it down boom you're good to go you can go wherever you want obviously you got to place it a little bit better but yeah it is a great pick and since you don't have teammates that communicate that well you're not going to rely on somebody to get to a certain place as fast as you want you're gonna have some kind of tool to move around the map faster and easier so jump pad is a must or the zip as i said however i would start with the jump pad now this is the interesting one the final gadget we can go for the defibrillator in case you want to play like kind of support class but i don't think that is the goal here because if your teammates are not really running with you are not staying with you they don't care where you are if you are having that issue in the game then you probably want to use something else and in my humble opinion if you're a solo player man people just play so hectic they just do not care so if you just run around the map trying to heal your teammates 24 7 you're not getting kills you're not doing any kind of damage so in that case this fourth slot is pretty much a free slot you can use whatever you want what i like to do is have some gas mines for example especially solo you cash in you're trying to win some time you drop some of these bad boys on the point enemy team pushes in boom gas goes out they're like uh, 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 they, they can't they can't survive I, I don't know why it sounded like arnold you guys get the point that when this runs out you throw in another gas grenade and the goal of keeping the enemies away from the cache is pretty much achieved another great tool is the flashbangs the reason i like to use these actually as a solo player it really adds survivability in many situations so if you're getting chased and everything like that you can literally just get around the corner drop a few of these you're flashing enemies 
left and right, and it makes it much easier for you to get away from your enemies. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For all the solo players out there, trust me, this build right here will make your life 10 times easier and get you the wins that you're looking for. Now, for all the people that don't know, I stream here on YouTube pretty much every day. We're also going to be helping viewers get to diamond rank. So I would absolutely love to see every single one of you guys live on stream. As always, stay positive, stay disciplined, and I'll see you on the next one. I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scopes! <laughs>